Hi there, Scottish Leaf Owner here. Um, I just want to spend a few minutes just talking about how I feel that Nissan are actually now falling behind in regards to their electric vehicle program. Um, having tested the Hyundai Ionic yesterday, which is a superb car, and you can see the uh, listings or the listing, the uh, video below. Um, <clears throat> It's comparable to a 30 kilowatt Nissan Leaf, but there's so many more toys or tech, should I say, that you can get in the Ionic that is not available with the Nissan. And to be honest, if I was recommending any car to a new buyer, um, normally I would say the Leaf but I'm going to have to say it's going to be the Hyundai Ionic. Um, you know, Nissan were one of the first manufacturers to bring out an electric car. Oh, sorry, just negotiating around about. We're one of the first to introduce the electric car with the Leaf um, five or six years ago. And obviously it has been a success with them, you know, selling over 250,000 worldwide and that has to be commended to them but the way that technology has gone over those over that period the um, the leaf now has become very outdated in regards to the technology the sat nav is what I call fairly useless now and it seems to be that they've had ample opportunity to get a new car released such as the CZ S show, the Consumer Electronics Show in uh, 2007, uh, at the beginning of the year in 2017 and at the Detroit Motor Show and all that they actually did go on was about um, autonomous driving which is good because that will put it you know the same with um, you know on par with Tesla etc and, and that has to be commended but the problem is is that the cars are very outdated now and for the compatible price of 24 pounds the Hyundai Ionic has so much more going for it it has um, better range due to the low drag coefficient it also has um, the lane keep assist it also has um, what else adaptive cruise control these things aren't available on the Nissan Leaf and that's putting the car now at a major disadvantage to the opposition so um, what I'm trying to say is Nissan have to up their game um, you know they were at the forefront and they're now lagging far behind there's always murmurings about a new leaf when it does come it says it'll have the pro pilot which again is Sounds like it's going to be similar to what's ready on the Hyundai. So that's the thing. What they need is a bigger battery. So 60 kilowatts at a minimum, I think, should be the next um, stage for them. And basically, they just need to up their game. If you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and comment and i'll see you the next time on the scottish leaf owner